Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session on dentistry and more. Today we have wound healing. Okay. So how the wound is healed, uh, the various types of wounds and the process of wound healing is different in each type like uh, healing by first intention, second intention or tertiary intention. So the process is different in each type of wound. So let's learn healing of wound. Healing of wound uh, is nothing but is effort of injured tissues to restore their normal function and structural integ integrity after the injury. So the tissue is uh, trying to get back to its normal structure and its integrity. Okay, so that is uh, the uh, generic definition of wound healing. So basically we have two types of wound. One is uh, tidy wounds and another one is untidy wounds. Uh, tidy wounds are like uh, wounds which is caused by sharp objects like a uh, surgical incision which is a very clean healthy wound without any tissue loss and healing is very simple. The basic uh, primary or first intention healing will be there. Whereas untidy wound it is due to the crushing, avulsion, devitalization or vascular type or burns. So what is happening is there will be accession of tissue. There will be lots of uh, tissue loss. So it will be healed by secondary indention. Though there are many uh, other types of uh, wounds but basically uh, we have these two types, tidy and untidy wounds. So, tidy wounds are easy to get approximated or to get healed, whereas untidy one, it takes a lot of time. So, how does the wound heals? So, we have basically two methods, that is primary healing or first intention, that is a wound healing, secondary intention or secondary healing, okay. So first intention or primary healing, it is the easiest wound. It means the wound is very clean, very sharp, where the edges are very approximated just like a knife wound or a surgical wound. So there will not be any infection, there will not be any much tissue loss. So this type of wound will be healed by primary intention. That is the epithelium will be approximated and there will be less granulation tissue and the scar will be very minimal and it heals very fast and there will be very less uh, fibrous tissue more of a granulation tissue present so epithelial uh, regeneration happens and there will be complete closure so after that there will be complete closure so it will be completely closed so that is a uh, wound healing by first intention or primary intention okay first or primary intention or primary healing primary healing or first intention but as a second one that is secondary healing or secondary intention that is different wound it is most commonly associated with this untidy wound where it occurs in a wound with extensive soft tissue loss. There will be extensive soft tissue loss. There is no chance of the tissue edges are approximated because the tissue loss is very vast. This was like very close edges. So it is easy to get approximated. But here the edges are very apart. There is lots of tissue loss. So in those cases, the wound heals by secondary healing or secondary intention. That is uh, heals very slowly. There will be uh, fibrosis uh, rather than granulation tissue. So there will be lots of fibrous tissue. So fibrosis happens and it results in scar formation. Okay, here it is the scar is minimal but there will be irregular scar formation and 
there will be hypertrophy and there will be contraction of the tissue it will not be um, as similar as the original tissue in primary intention it will be almost like original tissue how it was before the injury but in this case it will not be how it was before the injury there will be contraction of the wound area so that is a uh, secondary intention that, that is the basic difference between uh, primary healing and secondary healing whereas the third one that is the healing by third intention or tertiary wound healing or delayed primary closure this occurs in wounds which are left open for debridement so if there is debridement we are leaving the wound for debridement in those cases the tertiary healing happens so after wound debridement and control of local infection then only the wound is closed with sutures or covered using a skin graft so we need to use skin graft okay and sutures before that we need to do debridement and control of infection so that is tertiary intention that is a very extensive loss of tissues okay so there should be a skin graft or suture in place of tertiary intention so these are the basic difference between primary healing secondary healing and tertiary healing the clean wound not very clean there is untidy wound and the tertiary it is delayed primary closure so these are the three types now let's learn the phases of wound healing so phases of wound healing basically it has a phase of inflammation uh, then phase of proliferation and remodeling or we can say inflammation uh, granulation tissue formation epithelialization scar formation and resorption and finally the maturation okay so these are the steps of um, healing of wound the first one is inflammatory state so it is characterized by hemostasis increased vascular permeability then migration of cells into the wound by chemotaxis uh, secretion of cytokines and growth factors and activation of the other migrating cells so all these uh, chemical all these uh, changes happens uh, in inflammatory state so after that uh, there will be granulation tissue formation then there will be epithelial uh, changes and scar formation and uh, resorption and finally the maturation and getting back to its uh, normal anatomy so uh, factors affecting wound healing are it could be uh, local factors such as infection uh, poor blood supply uh, tissue tension hematoma or poor apposition of tissues or presence of any necrotic tissue and any foreign body and it could be general factors such as age obesity smoking malnutrition vitamin deficiency anemia malignancy jaundice diabetes steroids and other cytotoxic drugs and uh, there could be many uh, complications for healing of wound Mm, if the scar formation that is uh, deficient scar formation so in deficient scar formation it is known as wound dehiscence or there will be ulceration and excessive formation of the repair component like this is deficiency this is excessive form like hypertrophic scar formation will be there or the keloid keloid is important keloid could be there and there will be excess production of granulation tissue and there will be formation of contractures so all these are uh, the complications of wound healing so the basic thing is types of wound healing primary secondary tertiary and the stages and the complications so that's all about healing of wound so i'll come up with a new topic in pathology thank you